my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted human being. I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't do, but I'm going to do it anyway. I have here in my hand, in this large folder, uh, a great deal of psychiatric reports. Um, these are all psychiatric reports and evaluations uh, for many parts of my life. Let me try to do this quickly. Hey, promo cool. says the reason you came in was for a general evaluation. This is 1983. Uh, battery test included Stanford Brene Intelligence, Rorschach Ink Block, Thematic Apperception, Sequential Test of Education Progress, The SCAT Test, Incomplete Sentences Apperception Test, Kinetic Family Drawing Test, Visual Impressions Test, and the Bender Gestalt. And other, they also had other information, including transcripts and test data. Uh, two general tests of intelligence, the Stanford Bernay and the SCAT. Um, on this test, you attained a mental age of 19 years, 10 months. At the time, you were 16 years, 5 months. This computes to an IQ that places you in the superior to very superior range, or about the 97th percentile. Uh, a general level of intellectual capabilities in the superior to very superior range. The step test compares how much you know uh, compared with the, your measured ability to learn compared with others in your age group. Uh, reading of vocabulary in the top 5%. Handwriting not particularly high quality. Uh, you should learn how to type. A battery of personality tests. Access to your general levity, level of maturity compared with others in your age group. And identify any personal factors which might be contributing to your questions and concerns. Uh, the battery of tests enables to sample your personality at various levels of awareness. The first observation was we didn't see any evidence of impulsivity and antisocial activity. Second observation is that I seem to have moved from an outward-oriented, outward-directed mode to a much more introspective, self-analytic, highly subjective orientation, a strong sense of my own interiority. Third observation is that I'm cautious. I don't like to make mistakes, I don't like to embarrass myself, and I don't like to take uh, unnecessary chances. Uh, fourth observation, your social mis maturity seems more characteristic of someone a year younger than yourself. Blah -de blah -de blah I'm skipping a great deal here. Uh, general level of intellectual functioning clearly in the superior to very superior range. Development of your verbal abilities is far in advance of your quantitative, especially mathematical aptitude. Um, then we move on to a psych report from a hospital in New England. Uh, I was young also, looking for significant underlying factors. Tests administered were the WISC R, clinical interview, brief neurological screening, the house tree person, kinetic family drawing, Bender Gestalt, raw shock, and draw person. Uh, they said, I am a rather slight, handsome young adolescent boy with blue eyes and very long blonde hair. Accompanied the examiner without hesitation, generally cooperative throughout the assessment. Speech was normal, thinking was well organized, and vocabulary reflected above average intelligence. Uh, somatic complaint was occasional bad headaches. Does not report any history of hallucinatory experiences. No pseudo suicidal or homicidal ideation. Did not appear terribly depressed during the assessment. Description of familial relationships suggests little closeness, persistent conflict, and minimal regard for efforts to set limits. Near the end of the interview, Tim spontaneously announced that he was, quote, adopted. Upon questioning, however, he denied any curiosity regarding his biological parents or the circumstances of his abduction. Abduction. Adoption. Abduction. Uh, functions in the above average range of intelligent intellectual ability. Uh, greater ability on tasks with nonverbal approaches to problem solving. Uh, his lowest scores may have been influenced by his heightened level of anxiety. Potential intelligence may even be greater than reported estimates. Brief neurological screening proved unremarkable, suggesting Tim's behavioral problems are probably not primarily of organic origin. Clearly a very bright young man, capable of good achievement. Projective drawing consistently suggests that Tim has very poor self-concept 
with inadequately formed personal boundaries, heightened anxiety, and limited ego development characterized by a narcissistic worldview typical of a much younger child. Tim's replication on the Bender Gestalt indicate the presence of a much greater anxiety than was apparent during the clinical interview as suggested by impulsive, hastily formed designs. Seems to have more difficulty with figures incorporating straight angular patterns, which may indicate some confusion regarding the assumption of a traditional masculine sexual identity. His response to the DAP provides additional evidence of anxiety related to formation of clear sexual identity. Tim's quote man and quote women are essentially indistinguishable from one another and are of such poor quality as to suggest that Tim probably has a negative poorly defined body image. Other drawings uh, strongly indicate that Tim feels isolated and relatively unconnected on an affective level with other human beings. For example, his tree is without roots and cut off in the middle as though devastated by lightning with no possibility for further growth. His house looks like a concrete bunker built into the side of a hill, an impenetrable place of safety. And finally, Tim's kinetic family drawing perhaps best illustrates his isolation and disengaged status in the context of his family. The KFD includes his mother, father, and sister, all reclining on separate couches or chairs, watching TV and reading without any contact. Tim omitted himself from the, quote, family. When asked about his omission, Tim simply noted, I'm drawing the picture, suggesting a serious loss of personal boundaries between himself and the task at hand. Uh, I could talk about this later, but consistent with impressions inferred from projective drawings, Tim responds to the raw shark provides additional evidence of a very anxious young man who uses his considerable intelligence and verbal skills to organize his perceptions in the face of potentially overwhelming affective experience. Although not psychotic, a number of Tim's responses had fragmented, disorganized qualities suggesting poor integrative abilities. Tim appears to be aware of this deficit and compensates by attempting to use all of the details available on the visual image, even if the resulting gestalt serves to contaminate in an otherwise good response. Tim clearly has serious deficits in his ability to organize visually presented material. There seems to be a real disparity between what he sees and what he wants to express, and it is only his intelligence which allows him to present, in many situations, as a relatively together young man. At least partially an effort to make sense of his personal isol isolation and extremely poor self-esteem. Um, anyway, Tim, testing indicates Tim functions in the above average range of intellectual ability with somewhat greater nonverbal problem solving skills. Projective testing provides strong evidence that he uses his good intelligence to organize protection. Pretend, they're just repeating the same thing. Overwhelming affective experience of anxiety and inner emptiness. Blah, 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 blah. He does not appear to be psychotic or at sufficient, sufficient, sufficient risk of suicide. Then there's another one. Uh, this is, I'm going to skip all the blah 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 and get right down to the DSM-4. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Combined Type. Major Depression, Recurrent and Partial Remission, Social, social Phobia, Moderate. Um, this was an ADHD test, the Brown ADD scales, I got 93. Uh, Connors ADHD uh, score, I don't know, was above 65. Uh, Beck Depression Inventory 19, that's about mild. Rosenberg Self Esteem, low self esteem around 14. And the Skid 2 uh, number, this is Borderline Personality Disorder Module, diagnosis absent. Um, uh, it is recommended he consider pharmacological consult to address the symptoms of adult attention deficit hyperactivity dep and depression, cognitive behavioral therapy, and da da da. da. I did all that. <clears throat> that was from Mount Sinai, Fifth Avenue Center for Counseling and Psychotherapy. Just, these papers just keep coming here. Uh, attitude, okay, appearance, stated age, body build, good muscular weight, well nourished, attitude, cooperative, uh, warm and friendly, relaxed, makes good eye contact, activity, calm, abnormal movements, none, dress and grooming, neat, gait, good, dominant mood, calm, mood stability, stable. Uh, facial expression composed, range of affect, full, affect to content link, appropriate, affect intensity, shallow, affect reactivity, responsive, perception, delusions, no, hallucinations, no, 
Let me see. Can you read that from here? Uh, depersonalization, derealization. No. Dissociative events or flashbacks. No. Cognition. Awareness. Alert. Uh, oriented to time, place, person, and purpose. Attention, attentive, concentration, sustained, memory, intact, past memory, intact. No blackouts, no amnesia. Current risk factors, none. Wish to harm anyone, no. Uh, not a, 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 a capable of act, abstract reasoning. Uh, speech, tone, rhythm with it within normal limits, organization and verbalizations, clear thought process within normal limits, suicidal or homicidal ideation, no, 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 judgment, sound, impulse control, adequate, understands consequences of actions, usually, insight regarding illness, acknowledges he has problems, self-esteem is lowered, identity is vulnerable, uh, relating to interviewers, open. Further assessment needed. Hmm. Here's another one from uh, St. Luke's Roosevelt. This is while they were doing the hardcore targeting here. Uh, appearance, appropriate, mood, unchanged, orientation, alert and oriented to, person, place, time. <sighs> it goes on and on. I mean, I just got, you know, so many of these things. Well-groomed, well-appearing, cooperative, speech, soft-spoken, regular rate, mood, rhythm, fine. Aspect, dis affect, dystymic, linear, coherent to time and place, perception, cognition, alert and oriented to person, place, and date. Uh, access to, deferred. You know, these people, they always want to defer their diagnosis, man. All right, so that's 11 minutes. I don't know if I can upload it now, but there you get a basic uh, overview of the stuff that I've gone through. And... Um, the batteries of tests that I've been through and uh, the reactions and results I've gotten from them. Thank you for watching and uh, God bless you all.